What's up guys? It's been a while. Somebody made a gigantic tree and didn't cut it all the way down. Yeah, that's not. so I've been really, really busy. I've done tons of stuff. That grass is really loud. I'm gonna start turning music on. Um so I've done some stuff. First I would like to say that I've changed this around. As you can see, since logout evaders don't work anymore, I went to an Ender Pro Evader design. I think somebody's made something like this, but I don't know. But I didn't really look up a tutorial for it. I just saw that people used fence posts with a pressure plate on top. So you just drop down here like normal. And then it takes two Ender Pearls. So I got this dispenser. That dispenses two ender pearls. Stand on this block. The way it was set up, I wanted to stand there, but I couldn't get it like that. See, it always messes up, so that's why I don't really like this. Because ender pearls are stupid, and they move side to side. But um, how does that work? I will show you down in the base. And I've done many, many things in the base. Actually, not really many things, but a lot of one big thing. And as you can see, 52 cooked beef, which is helped by the fire aspect 2 sword. Um, let's turn this on far. Let's see if we can get any good frame rates with that. But first, I will show you what's up with this. One piece of redstone. Um, fence posts. Get one of those. And I'll make a pressure plate. Like so. Take some blocks. So um we'll make we'll put this like up a little bit. So where you want your feet to be pushed out at, so this is right here's the hole. So you put that uh the piston there, a block on top, fence post, jump up, place place the pressure plate on there. And then you put a redstone right there. And I think it's helpful if you have that, but I haven't done much testing. So now you just kind of stand here, throw an ender pearl up there. It doesn't work. There we go. So I think if you hit that straight up, it doesn't work very well. But I think that might just be because I'm too close, so let's drop down a little bit. Bam. And it works. So that's that. Um, we'll throw this in a little bit. And we'll get to something over there and in there, in the sheet farm. Work has been done on the sheet farm. Been doing a lot of work over there. Um, so this is a reed farm. Um, it is pretty simple. It just got these two pistons, push those, push out the two, um, the two reeds that are grown, and stack that once on top, and then done. Did it, the same thing on that side. The redstone is connected to this pressure plate, which I just go right here. They all push, got ice so it goes real fast, and a full harvest I get two stacks of reeds. And sugar cane can be turned into paper which can be traded for emeralds. Zombie. <laughs> Just in case he comes around. But uh, emeralds, let's see if I have any. Yep, 35 emeralds. Um. 
what else do we got going here? Oh yeah. In here we have the um the sheep farm and it has been it is one hundred percent functional, but not one hundred percent complete. Look at that guys. Look at all this. I've done a ton of work in here. I mean cranking this thing out. So I don't know what I'm gonna do in the corners yet. To go down to the the farm. Well, let's turn this sheep down. Okay, so we got all the colors. I've already explained to you how the sheep um don't get they the water keeps them in the pen. There are nine sheep in each pen. I started with two, got three, then got four, then got six from that, and from those six I got nine. <laughs> Math. Um but we'll go over the colors in a bit. Right now I wanna show you this ceiling pattern I got. It's the color of the sheep and then lots of glowstone. <laughs> lots of glowstone. I've used like stacks and stacks of glowstone for this. Like probably close to fifteen stacks of glowstone. No, probably like ten. More in between there. But there's four and they're all pointing towards the center here. And then the next four are gonna do the same, and then the next four are gonna do the same. Just smooth stone in the middle. Um, I'm still not taking down this chest and workbench until I'm completely finished. Got all the dye. I need to put the dye in a storage room that I made just for wool. It's pretty nice. I can show you that in a second. But the way we get these organized, we got white and black gray and light gray and then we got red and orange yeah those are orange they look yellow but red and orange I'm doing kinda of roji biff type thing in the rainbow red orange yellow and then with yellow is brown because brown doesn't fit with anything ROI yellow green and lime green over here Blue and light blue are next. And then cyan and purple. And then magenta and pink. And over here I ran into the ocean. That's why you see some dripping. But there won't be any dripping when I'm done. But yeah, I ran into the ocean. It I was so mad. That was no fun doing, but I got some Aqua Affinity Fire Protection Helmet, which I actually enchanted just after I finished that. Oh boy. But yeah, so it's fully functional. Here's what I do when I harvest. I just hold down, right click, and just start running around. Oop, lag, lag, lag. And just start just punching them all with the shears so that I don't lose any of the drops which I just did and you get somewhere around 20 um, 20 wool per thing and I like that I like this a lot this is coming together real good and I really like the wall pattern because like when I first made it I made it like real small just in this part and I was like, is it going to, because you're not going to be able to see the glowstone from here. But no matter where you look, you see a full part of, like, you see glowstone. And it just, it makes it look really cool. It's kind of hard to look at, though. It's, like, too intricate. Right here, I got a little secret storage room. There's a piston underneath this block. And then there's the four pistons. So that piston, then there's a piston behind me. There's a piston next to this piston, which pushes up this piston, like that, and it, people have made this a lot, I don't know how to, or I can't explain it, but I don't want to explain it right now. This is my little storage area. We got black, which is empty for some reason. I got light blue in my inventory, so let's go over to light blue. Just a nice little pattern on the floor, pattern on the wall, 
workbench for some reason. Come out here, click the button, close the door. Nobody will ever know it's there. And that's pretty much the gist of this. Oh yeah. And this stuff, this uh, water hole holding them in thing, is kind of pointless right now. And or going to be pointless 1.3 because they've fixed glitchy mobs and stuff. Or they say they have. And, um, yeah, so. But I think it looks good. It looks cool. It's pretty legit. Um, down here we got a bunch of cows. This room is nowhere near finished. I've been breeding cows. And then just killing them and getting tons of beef just stack and 44 beef right now and I've been eating it all day and I kinda like this little design I've been doing in here like just thinking just you know messing around and um cause back there there's gonna be a weed farm and on the other side there's gonna be a weed farm as well I wanna do something in here so like I can't actually kill the the parents so I kind of put them in a secluded area breed have the babies go to to the pen and then when it's all done when they're ready have like water wash them to canals and then have a cooker that's that's kind of my plan so um on that side of the wall and probably the back here there's gonna be little cells for the cows but kinda like breeding cells not and it's not gonna be one where like it brings it out in carts just like maybe like kinda how Etho has his for with his sheep where there's one cow in here and one cow in here and you breed both of them Whoopsie. and then you push a cart in to get the baby I mean, that's kind of my idea at the moment. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah. Um, that's my plan. So, like, one here, and then just probably, like, four or five, and then four or five across the back. And then, um, they'll all go into this pen. And, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> so, yep. That's it for this room for now. I the weed farm I'll probably work done after I finish the the farm in there. I'm gonna do it's gonna be a pretty large weed farm. And it's gonna be nice because I'm gonna be able to use dispensers with water buckets. Hmm. I I'm just thinking, sorry. I Okay, I'll do that after after I record. But, yeah, I also need to rip out all this stuff. Which is kind of sad, because it kind of took me a while. But, that's pretty. That's all I've done. I've been working a lot in it, my test world, just building stuff. And, um, I'm thinking about doing a series on that. Like, John D's test world. Should be pretty cool. Um... So that's about it for today, I think. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys soon. I'll be working on a test world thing. Actually, I already made something really cool I want to show you, so I might record that right now. Probably not, though, because I have to go. I'm going on a trip, and I have to pack for it. But I'll be back by Monday. Yeah, I'm going to say I'll have that episode, or uh, the test world thing Monday, I think that's a good plan, but don't hold me to it, cause, yeah, don't hold me to that, okay, see you guys.